Hello students, all is well. Welcome to our science class. Today we are going to start our new chapter that is light. You are going to learn very interesting things about light in this chapter. This is the first part. How do we humans perceive things around us? We have five sense organs uh, that help us to interact with the world around us. These are sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch. Eyes help us to see things, ear help us to hear the sound, uh, we smell with our nose, taste uh, with our tongue and the sense of touch is provided by our skin. Of course, all senses are important but the sense of light is the most important. Here is an interesting fact we perceive almost 80% of the world around us by using our sense of sight. We see objects around us with our eyes. When we don't, uh, we, uh, uh, we, then why don't we uh, not see these objects uh, in the dark? The answer to this question is light. We are able to see the objects around us because of the light. So now, what is light? Light is a form of energy which is detected by human eye. It is everywhere around us. It is not only useful for us to see things but also for plants to produce food. Now we are going to see uh, the sources of light. Can you tell where does light come from? You know that the sun is the biggest source of light. You know light comes from many sources uh, like sun, stars, fire, candle and electric uh, light bulbs etc. But wait, not all things that shine are light sources. Moon, moon is not a natural source of light. It is not have its own light. It only reflects a sun's light reflecting on its surface and then hits the earth. Due to which it appears shining when seen from the earth. Students, you know how the light travels. So here we are going to learn about the path of light. Have you ever noticed that the headlamps of a car giving straight path of light? Let's try an activity to find out the path of light. Take a lighted candle and a straight pipe. Now look at the lighted candle through the straight pipe. You can easily see the candle through that pipe. Now take a bent pipe and to, uh, look at the candle through it. Are you able to see the candle's flame through it? Probably not. So now you know that light travels along straight line. Our next topic in this session is reflection of light. Can you tell how do we see objects? Well, we see objects when light reflected to them and reaches our eyes. Reflection of light is a simple phenomenon. According to the law of reflection, when the ray of light strikes the plane surface, it returns in the same medium with change in angle. It's no surprise that when we look in a mirror, an image of ourselves reflected by us. Well, mirror is an object that reflects light. Now look at this shiny stainless steel plate. When light falls on its surface, it gets reflected. Therefore, any polished and shiny surface can act as a mirror and can change the direction of light. Have you ever seen reflection in water? Can you tell how we are able to see them? Well, the surface of water also acts as a mirror and change the direction of water. Therefore, we are able to see the reflections in water as well. Now we are going to learn about image and object. Take a plain mirror and place a pencil in front of it. The pencil which appears behind the mirror is called as an image. You can see on the screen the image is behind the mirror. 
and the pencil itself is called an object the pencil here which is uh, at the opposite side of the mirror what happens when we place the pencil in different positions in front of the mirror well the image will remain behind the mirror such an image is called as erect image therefore an image formed by a plane mirror is erect and of the same size as of the object because here the image size of the image and the size of the object are same also the image formed is at the same distance from the mirror as the object is you can verify it yourself all you need is a chess board here we have taken a chess board a chess piece say a king keep the plane mirror at the edge of the chess board as shown on the screen look at the position of the king and as well as its image are they both at the same distance from the mirror well you can count the number of squares in front of each for the object uh, there are seven squares and the same for its image as well you can move this king anywhere on the chessboard and find out if its image is at the same distance from the mirror as the king is hope you are understanding the topic image and object now our next topic is right or left the image formed by a plane mirror is not upright down but it's laterally inverted what is laterally inverted image when we raise our left hand the image in the mirror raises its right hand you have experienced it our left image our left is images right and similarly our right is the images left so an image follows left right re reversal and we say image formed by a plane mirror is laterally inverted can you now understand why the word ambulance is written as shown in the picture means it is laterally inverted when the driver of a vehicle ahead of an ambulance looks in his her or his rear view mirror he or she can read ambulance correctly written on it and give way to the ambulance it is the duty of every one of us to allow an ambulance to pass without blocking its way so here uh, these are some characteristics of images uh, formed by mirror let's quickly review them first the image formed by a plane mirror is virtual and not real second the image formed is always erect or upright third one is the size of the image formed is the same as the size of the object placed on the other side of the plane mirror and lastly the image formed is at the same distance from the mirror as the object is so students here we have completed our uh, first part of this chapter light now we'll meet in the next session with some important and interesting topics thank you